This is an introduction on how to 3D print your Fusion models. In this case, we have a game controller design that's composed of multiple bodies. And if you select at the top level, you'll find there's a save to STL. And this is the path by which we output for 3D printing, STL or stereolithography format. If you select at the top level, there's an option that will allow you to create a single file or one file for each body that's in the component or in this design. This can be useful when you're trying to do multiple bodies that are going to be output for 3D printing. In this case, I have a component that's composed of four buttons. And again, I can save as STL. And I could save them as a single file or as multiples. You can also save at the body level. So individual bodies can be saved as STL. In this way, you have flexibility over saving the entire design, a single component composed of multiple bodies, or a single body. This controller design is made up of solid models, as you can see from this section analysis. We want a format that's going to be usable by a 3D printer, and so we're going to use the STL, or stereolithography format, in order to be able to create a series of triangles over the exterior of the solid model. Here I'm previewing the mesh so that we can see what it's made of, which are triangles. The preview also allows me to show it in low or in high tessellation. The more triangles, the smoother the finished model. So now let's output the main body of the controller for 3D printing. I can save it as an STL file to my disk, but I can also send it to Mesh Mixer. If you don't have Mesh Mixer already loaded, you'll have the opportunity to download Autodesk Mesh Mixer for outputting to 3D printing. When I say OK, it'll take the mesh that you previewed here into Mesh Mixer so that you can begin preparing it for 3D printing. With the triangulated model now in Mesh Mixer, you may want to toggle on the printer bed. The printer bed reflects the size of the specific printer that you're going to be using in order to create the 3D part. Each one is sized appropriately, and this will give you the indication of where you can place the model inside that specific type of printer. Now you may want to reposition or resize the model appropriately for the size printer you have. In the transform area, you'll see what the overall size of the model is. If you were using millimeters in Fusion, you'll want to use millimeters here. When you select the transform command, a manipulator is provided that will allow you to rotate, move, and scale the object. By placing your cursor over the scale, you can incrementally rotate the model. This is also your opportunity to put it inside the volume of the printer by using the Move to Platform command. Once you have it rotated into the proper position, now you're ready to make some decisions about how you want to print it. Remember that this was a solid model, but it would be very expensive in terms of time and material to create a solid 3D print. So we'll use the hollow wall thickness in order to hollow this model out, in this case, to two millimeter wall thickness. It goes into X-ray mode to be able to show you the inside of the model. This can be toggled on and off. You can add support structures for those areas that are overhanging. When you enter the command, the red area is an indication based on angle threshold of areas that need to be supported. By selecting the support overhangs, the support structures are built. You can edit those in the support generator. In this case, I'll change the post diameter. Now I've got broader and fewer support structures. Notice at the top, they come to a very small point, which makes cleaning them off much easier. By toggling the preview, you can see the support structure is on the inside of this hollow model as well.
At this point, the model is ready to be exported as an STL with the support structures or sent directly to the printer manufacturer's slicer. If you'd like to learn more about MeshMixer, including its mesh modeling capabilities, check out meshmixer.com.